What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks once again. Hope y'all are having a great day. It's almost the weekend. The week is almost over. Like I said, hopefully y'all had a great day today. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. My day was going great. And then I got news that a pair of shoes that I had shipped to someone had gotten stolen between me shipping them and UPS getting them to the person the shoes were stolen. So my day went from like great to now I'm like frustrated that my shoes got stolen. So the life of buying and selling shoes is what you kind of got to deal with. That's what happens, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So the reason I'm making this video, so today is June 8th and today was the release day of the Jordan 1 Stage Haze. Now I tried to get an early pair of these but I was not able to so my plan was just to get a pair today and drop a review for y'all um, in order for y'all to get a review or, or in order for y'all to see the video. I know there's been a lot of, of talk about the Stage Haze. One because of the materials that were on the shoe so I was curious to see the shoe in person and kind of give y'all my impressions on what I thought and of course get y'all's opinion on what y'all thought about the shoe as well. So uh, the release, the release this morning, I, I know um, DTLR had them, I know Hibbit had them and those are really the only two sites that I knew were dropping the stage changes today. I knew Sneakers wasn't dropping them um, and then of course I tried on Flex and had no luck on Flex. So I was like, bet let me try on DTLR and let me try on Hibbit. So I'm on Hibbit Hibbit sells out in like a minute, of course. Y'all know how Hibbit is. And then I flip over to DTLR and I try on DTLR. They don't even have men's sizes on the website. And I tried to get a grade school, but they just said coming soon. I found out later that DTL DTLR ended up doing an in-app drop of the Stage Haze ones. So I'm assuming they released men's and GS pairs through their app. I don't have the DTLR app, so I was not able to purchase a pair through DTLR today. So. I'm like, okay, bet that's cool. I'll find somebody that had a pair in hand today and then I'll just drop a review for y'all tomorrow. Like, this video is going to be the review of the Stage Haze 1. So, I'm scrolling through my Facebook groups in, in my area and, and I see people talking about, like, Champs didn't let them pick up pairs and Foot Locker didn't let people pick up pairs. And so, I'm confused at this point. I'm like, what is going on? So, it turns out we had some sites release the Stage Haze 1s today. Whereas everybody else, the stage haze ones were pushed back to July 2nd. So basically, I guess this is the 4th of July shoe now because that shoe is, like I mentioned, is coming out July 2nd. That is a new release date for the Jordan 1 stage hazes. I'm assuming that's when they were released on sneakers and I'm assuming that's when they were released on Flex. Now, I was a little kind of curious with Flex pushing the day back. One, because Flex actually did their raffle for the shoe. So I actually went in and entered the raffle on I think Champs and Foot Locker use my points or my head starts and all that so I ended up not hitting and I, I didn't hit in store and then I was like okay maybe I'll hit on one of these ship to me's and I'll get lucky that way well didn't hit on ship to me either so I was like okay that's kind of weird maybe they had late shipments or, or delayed shipments or whatever but I'm scrolling through um, Twitter the day and and so I'm trying to get more information on what's going on with the shoes why, why they didn't release on Flex and what's going on because my first thought was like, okay, maybe they're just going to cancel everybody's um, reservations or entries and give you the points back. It doesn't seem like that is the case though. So uh, I did find some screenshots on Twitter and I'll put them up on the screen so y'all can see them. Uh, but this one says the 6-8 launch, which is the June 8th Jordan 1 launch date has moved to July 2nd. Your confirmed reservation will be held at your winning store to pick up on that date. Thank you. So. It looks like if you were able to enter the raffle and you got a dub, whether it be in store or shipped to me, it looks like your dub is safe. For sure, if it looks like based off this notification in store, if you hit in store, then you will be able to pick up your pair on July 2nd. Now, um, I did see another person post up and it was a email from Foot Locker and it says status of your recent Foot Locker order. Um, and then it goes on to read, thank you for shopping at Foot Locker. We regret to inform you that the launch date of the Jordan 1 Retro High OG Boys Grade School has moved to July 2nd and your order has been canceled. We apologize for any inconvenience this causes. So we're kind of getting conflicting statements here. So I'm assuming one of these is for in-store and then the other is for ship to me. So if you hit on these stage changes on the Flex app, let me know in the comments, was your order canceled? Or did they just say you could pick me your pair on July 2nd when they're set to release? Uh, I'm very curious to see 
how this will play out considering I did like I checked my reservations I didn't get any head start points added back to my account so obviously my reservations went through and I just didn't hit on the shoe when they dropped when they dropped today so uh, I'm curious to see just if people get their points back or if they're gonna stick to the people that hit insert like how will they be doing this especially if they just canceled the ship to me online pairs will they be re-raffling those pairs off or how exactly will they be releasing those pairs to the public so I thought it was very interesting to to see that today and find that out today so like I mentioned if you're interested in the Jordan 1 stage haze the new release date is July 2nd now I'm sorry yeah July 2nd is the release date for that now the other thing that I've, I've noticed and at one point I think a couple of days ago I had scrolled through sneakers and literally there were no Jordans on sneakers at all like all of the Jordans were taken off I went back and checked just a little while ago the infrared fours are on there and I believe the Jordan 9 particle grays are on there as well of course the infrared fours are set to come out next week on the 15th so if you're interested in that shoe that is another one now the shoe that has kind of gone under the radar and I know partially is because people don't like the shoe and another part is just we haven't really heard anything about the shoe the Jordan 1 Visionaries or the Visionary whatever they're called Visionary 1's the Volt Green Jordan 1's were actually set to come out this weekend on the 11th and I haven't heard anything about that shoe coming out they're not on flex I checked the calendars you can't enter on there I haven't heard anywhere else releasing the Jordan 1 Visionary so I'm assuming that shoe is getting pushed back I just don't know the day that is getting pushed back so if you're interested in that shoe I'm sure we will get some information at some point as to when exactly that shoe will be dropping but like I mentioned that shoe has been it's not it's not at the top of the list for a lot of people just because it is a vault colorway and that vault colorway is very bright if you have not seen a vault colorway on a Jordan it is bright I will put up a picture of what the visionary ones do look like honestly I'm not sure how I feel about them it's one of those shoes that I have to see in person and even even tagging along with that I haven't received any word on early pairs on the Jordan 1 visionary so I haven't even been able to try and get a pair for y'all to do a review on so it's no telling how far back that shoe will get pushed but this all just ties back I'm sure I know for sneakers they've been dealing with a lot of shipping delays and just shipping issues like we still haven't gotten the release of the Jordan 6 red Oreos on sneakers so stuff has just been getting shifted and pushed around it's just how times have been these past couple years y'all know it's been crazy trying to get shoes shipped in and just having to deal with all of that and just what all has been going on in the world so it is to me a little weird to see other sites dropping shoes and then sneakers not dropping anything at all like I mentioned DCL I had to drop today and then you don't see other stores uh, having drops either so it's all very weird a lot going on in the sneaker world especially in regards to the stage haze one so just to recap like I mentioned if you are interested in the Jordan 1 stage haze the new release date has been pushed from June 8th which was today to July 2nd which is that 4th of July weekend so I'm assuming that will be the 4th of July shoe I believe the particle gray nines are set to come out around that time as well so we may be getting two Jordans for the 4th of July but you know can't complain about getting two Jordans it is what it is you just kind of got to deal with it I know people aren't the biggest fan of the stage changes but you know we're getting Jordans so overall that is the video like I mentioned I just wanted to kind of give you all an update on the stage chase ones because I for sure was confused when I just saw people start complaining that the release date had got changed and they weren't able to pick a pair so I was just curious and I did some research and found out all this information so I just wanted to bring it to y'all's attention so y'all were aware of what was going on if you're interested in that shoot so appreciate y'all for stopping in as always I should have a review dropping on Friday or Saturday I want to say just waiting on the shoe to get to me so I can do the on foot portion of the video and drop that for y'all and then I should have an early review coming as well hopefully in the next couple days just waiting on the shoe to ship to me but as always I do appreciate y'all for stopping and checking out the video go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that like button on the notification bell so you can stay up to date when I post new content as always hope y'all have a great rest of the week stay safe and stay blessed and I'll catch y'all in the next video